welcome back welcome back so i'm putting the other playlist on pause for just a short while just so i can get through this unit six stuff for the btech level three engineering so what am i going to do next i'm going to try and start putting my system together and that's why i came back to this section so this is going to be my component list so let's just have a quick recap of what was supposed to be done because it's been quite a while so i have the raspberry pi pico with my micro usb cable that's fine ignore this section over here saying done that was just some notes for me i'm going to have my windows pc now this should work from any operating system to be fair but because i have windows i've said windows and yes i've gone overboard and i've gone overboard just because i don't want to leave any room at all for the examiner to say well you have the raspberry pi pico it doesn't have an operating system so how did you actually program it you should have said all the components that were needed i have my 16 by 2 lcd display i've got my leds i'm going to put maybe two or three leds i have my i2c adapter so this is going to be linked to the lcd i have my hall sensor so that's my magnetic sensor I have a couple push to close buttons. I'm going to change this from one to two just for now because I think I've added two. I have my buzzer and I have uh, two resistors. I believe they're either 220 ohm or 330 ohm. Now, bear with me. My eyes are bad. I cannot see the color codes on these resistors at all. So let's scroll down again. So this is where I've justified everything that I've said I'm going to be using. So every single component which I've said, okay, well, I'm going to be using the hall sensor. Why? And what type of device is the hall sensor? I've gone ahead and done, done that exact same thing for every single component I have. Now, you can do it in a nicer table if you want. I prefer it spread out like this. It's just a bit neater. I have my block diagram here. So let me zoom into this. Now, I say for my block diagram, my input processing and output again. For my input, I'm going to have the hall sensor and I'm going to have the push to close buttons. I don't believe there was anything else I needed to have for the input. The hall sensor would actually detect the magnet. The push to close button, one would be um, to start the system, one would be to stop the system, I believe something like that. For processing, now I'm using the Raspberry Pi Pico W or Pico. Um, I've only left the other two in, so the Arduino Uno and the PIC microcontroller because other people might be using that. And for the output, I have my LCD, I have LEDs, so light emitting diodes, a liquid crystal display, and I have buzzer, and I have a single buzzer as well. So that's what I'm going to be using to make my system. Let me scroll down again. Here I have my pseudocode. I'm not going to go through that right now. If you want to see what this was like, simply go back to the previous video and it should explain in some detail. Now, I am going to come back and tweak things as I go along because maybe when actually making the system and I read something again, I might say, oh, actually, I left out that thing. So I might go back and fix it. This is perfectly fine. And in some cases, even recommended for your log. So your activity one log, this is recommended that you actually... <sighs> not make a mistake on purpose but go back and fix something and, oh i didn't notice i was supposed to do that i made a mistake here and i went back and fixed it and this is how i fixed it and this is why i fixed it so if there was an issue that's obviously why you fixed it because there was an issue and you should ideally say how you fix the issue as well it doesn't really matter how small the issue is now below here i've got my flow chart as well this was also done in a previous section i'm not going to waste time going over it because it's a very long section i show how to actually do the entire flow chart so go back and watch that video as well and finally i have my components here on my circuit diagram this might change slightly because as you can see i've only got one button in here and why i, th I think when i tested it with the buttons i have the 5 volt rail didn't work for the button, but the 3.3 volt rail, rail worked for the button. So I might change this slightly, but I'll explain what that means when I get to that section. And I also, if you've been watching the other playlist as well, the Raspberry Pi Pico playlist, I've managed to found, uh, find online an L normal L LCD display well normal lcd and i've also managed to find um, the i2c adapter so i show the how they're physically connected as well so i might scrap this lcd here that has the i2c built in and use the other one because that one is probably going to be the most popular one that people can find and i believe that's it so that's the quick recap uh, i've got my component pin connection down here as well and i've separated this into into different sections so this is how my hall sensor would be connected to the raspberry pi pico Again, I'm not going to go through everything. That's how it's done there. This is how the buzzer would be connected to the Pico. This is how the red LED would be connected. This is how the green LED would be connected. This is how one of the push to close buttons would be connected. But I, as I said before, I do need to change this from pin 40. I think it's pin 35, but don't quote me on that. I'll go back and double check. 
and this is how the i2c would be connected to the lcd and to the raspberry pi pico now i'm going to start putting my system together and in doing that i think it's a good idea to probably do a section at a time having individual components working because what you don't want is to sit there for an hour half an hour build the entire thing program everything think thinking it should work and nothing actually works how it should so you gradually build up the system so what i might do is maybe get my buttons working and after i get my buttons working i link my leds to the raspberry pi and i and my well my leds and my resistors and have the buttons controlling the leds and then after that i might do the buzzer so having the buttons control the buzzers and the led then after that i might do the um the lcd and just have something put on screen for example button one pressed button two pressed led red should be on led green should be something along those lines you don't have to stick to what I've said. This is just my interpretation of maybe how it should be done. This section is going to take a while. I'm going to try my very best to work through in a detailed manner so it makes sense how each system or how each section of the system, sorry, gets added to the previous section. So hopefully that made sense. And in the next one, I'm going to actually show you the components. Right. So here in front of me now, I have my components, which I'm going to be using to solve. I think it's a 2022 paper. Um, here is my LCD. So that's my LCD there. My pins are on the back here. I'm going to move this aside with my I2C adapter. So that's what those are. So that's one of the first things on the actual list. Here I've got my two LEDs. I've got my green and my red. And I might as well couple that with the resistors, 220 ohm, 330 ohm roughly. Now, when I did the calculation for the resistors on the Raspberry Pi Pico, it worked out about 65 ohms. And I just went, you know what, let me just grab two other LEDs that are really um, higher rated, sorry, two other resistors that are higher rated simply because I don't want the LEDs being too bright. So using a higher resistor, that's perfectly fine. It just won't be as bright. Move that to one side. Now I have here uh, five tiny push to close switches. Now, these switches are really cheap. I think I got like 100 for like five pounds. They're rubbish, but they're very cheap. So um, that's why I have so many of them. If one doesn't work, I just switch them out and keep moving. I have two buzzers here, and I believe these are active buzzers. Um, what that means exactly is it only needs a specific voltage for a certain amount of time for it to come on. Whereas a passive buzzer, it needs a specific voltage and a frequency for it to work um, as it should. So that's what that is. Push these to one side and now he, this is going to be the star of the show here. This is a magnetic or the hall sensor. Now you can't see all the readings on there properly but this is a hall sensor. This is what it looks like. Nothing special. And at the back there I have the Raspberry Pi Pico. This is not the Pico W, just a normal Pico. And these are actually all my components. Let me try and bring those back in. These are all the components I need for this 2022 past paper there's nothing else i really need now it's just for me to sit down do all the admin stuff which i've shown you guys how to do at this stage and for me to program my system and nothing here needs any i2c adapters other than the lcd the only extra pieces of code i need for drivers are for the i2c adapter for the lcd and this is not even something that's needed this is just me wanting to use the lcd you're wanting to not use as many pins and wanting it to be as neat as possible. I could scrap the LCD fully and I could just use the LEDs instead, but I might as well keep the LCD and show how that works.